You are the recipient of the Patsy Casilio Humanitarian of the Year Award. And talk to me about the patients that you work with overall, you know, at the Jacobs Institute and other medical institutions here in Western New York, and your connection to them and, and what you do for them. Sure. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm extremely honored to receive the award, I'm surprised to receive the award. I benefit greatly from the relationship and learning that I've, I've gotten from Brothers of Mercy. So to receive an award on top of that, um, I feel like I should be giving them the award and thanking them. Um, as I look to previous recipients of the award, there, there are clear ties uh, from a passion standpoint, giving standpoint that I have. I look to Father Pat, who won last year, and how many lives he's touched, including my life at the Newman Center um, as a Roman Catholic and uh, going to St. Joe's from a Christian Brothers standpoint and the Brothers of Mercy, their clear ties. Two years before, you know, look, Dave Nask has been someone in this community that I've looked up to forever, and Robert Joya gives more to this community than any other. So looking to previous recipients and being a recipient myself um, is quite an honor. I look to my chairman, Dr. Levy, who has taught me uh, many things, one being to simplify. And one of his, I think, most important messages in simplification and patient care is treat them like your family. And I think when you think that way, there's a lot of important things that then naturally happen. The first one is developing the importance of trust and developing access. I think one of the hardest things that patients have is the ability to get through to someone when they have a problem. I regularly give my cell phones to my patients. It's a double-edged sword but I think the comfort of them knowing that if they really need me, that they can get to me, um, I, I think helps build the relationship greatly. Second is letting the patients understand that we don't know everything and that we often give care in collective teams. When there's something I'm not comfortable in, the fact that I have three other dual trained vascular neurosurgeon partners in Buffalo and Dr. Levy, Dr. Siddiqui and Dr. Davies is exceptional. We are fortunate. And so no patient that I care for gets cared for in isolation. We do it as a collective team. And there's no question that their care is better when you work in teams. Um, Brothers of Mercy has resonated with me because of that team approach. Again, coming back to good people find each other. Um, through that, Nancy and I found each other, and from there, Peter and I connected, and um, the relationship began. You realize you're a part of the family for life now. That's all good. I, I'm honored to be that, and I'm blessed to be that. I, I'm the beneficiary way more on my end than they are for me. Mm -hmm.